beer is brewed with tomatoes. It's beer o'clock and from Destruth Brouwers, that famous brewer in Belgium from Oostvletteren, we have a bottle of their Tom 8 coming in at 7% ABV. Now, this beer is very unusual. It's a Saison beer, okay, but it's brewed with tomato from Stein's Organic Vegetable Garden, um, <laughs> which makes it slightly different. I've never had a beer before that's been brewed with tomatoes, and probably most of you haven't either. Um, so I don't know what to expect here. You know, am I going to be um, pouring out a, a a bloody Mary here, or what are we what are we letting ourselves in for? Which is the big question. So I think what we want to do is we want to get this in this glass, don't we, and uh, give it a review. I know I'm itching to try it. I've never had this before in my life. Um, everything that uh, Destrues Browers Brew is absolutely fantastic. I I cannot see this beer, this beer being crap, <laughs> even though it's brewed with tomatoes and a very strange ingredient for a beer. I can't see that it's it's going to be bad. So there we go. In the glass, it's a. A hazy brown colour, one finger white head. Let's get the aromas. I'm getting a lot of malt. Malt. There's some sadness there. It's quite a, quite a funky sort of smell. Um, I tell you what, it's not dissimilar to it. Like this is a saison, but the aroma is 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 similar to sort of um a mild Flemish red beer. There's a touch of sort of mild balsamic vinegar in the vibe, you know, um, you know, something like, you know, a Bourgogne de Flanders, uh, but it's a real, there's a, there's a hint of sort of Bourgogne de Flanders in this beer. Really malt forward, the malt hit you. There was the sauce. It's definitely very funky smelling the aroma. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Interesting. It's got a real funky taste to it. This sweetness, this sourness. It's herbal. It's interesting, to say the least. Um, <laughs> it's different.
I am definitely getting a little bit of tomato there. But more so like just a, a slightly unripened tomato. Um, you know when you, you get a, a tomato and if you can sort of get hold of it and sort of give it a squeeze, you know it's going to be a sweet, it's going to be sweet. If it's rock hard, um, it's going to be, you know, nice, but it's going to be a little bit more sharper, isn't it? It's it's that little bit more sharper tomato, like a, like a hardened tomato rather than a soft, softer, sweet tomato. Um, there is a Flemish red, red vibe to it, definitely. Definitely got that, a very subtle... Um, Bourgogne de Flanders vibe to this beer. There is a sort of Bloody Mary vibe going on. There is a sort of a Worcester sauce. going through this beer. It's a pleasant drink. You know, don't get me wrong. There's, n there's nothing bad about this beer whatsoever. Um, it's just interesting. And it's just interesting that it, you know, it's... weird because the lacing on the glass is the same sort of colour as if you're a Bloody Mary with, with a lot of Worcester sauce in. You know this beige with a little bit of a red tint to it, you know the lacing, it's It makes you wonder whether, you know, you should drop a vodka in this and stick a bit of celery in. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, um... It's one of the most interesting beers I've ever had. The flavour's buzzing around my head. You know, it's... This is a beer, you've got to try it. You've got to try this beer to experience what I'm getting here. It's just, it's bonkers. It's literally bonkers. It's, you know, it's, it's malty. It's, it's like, oh, there's a maltiness there, really maltiness there. And then you've got this Worcester sauce vibe, the hint of these, these sort of, you know, uh, unripe tomatoes, um, the herbs, the sadness. There's a, there's a lot going on in this beer. Um, it's it's just bonkers crazy it just sounds like it ain't gonna work you know a beer brewed with tomatoes that ain't gonna work but it does and it's funky it's, it's even if there's a little like, like, I don't know a little bit of Brett yeast in there it's oh. it it it's weird in a respect that because Struis Brower's uh, a Brutus, it's probably to a lot of you unknown. A lot of people don't even know. As a matter of fact, no one has even reviewed it on YouTube yet. I'm going to be the first. So Struis produced this beer, brewed with tomatoes. Not a lot of people know about it. Yeah, if it was someone like Brewdog had brewed this beer, it would be all over the press, everyone would be talking about it. Hey, brew dog, I've, I've brewed a beer with tomatoes, blah, 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 blah. And that's a shame, because I think this beer should be up there in the headlines. You know, it should be up there in lights. Belgian brewer has brewed a beer using tomatoes. You know, and it should be the talk of the town. And it's not, and that's a shame. Um. 
Oi, like this bit. This is the sort of beer you'd like to have after a session the night before. That sadness to wake you up, to pick you up. Um, it would be a good. This is a good pick me up beer. It's also a refreshing beer. It'd be good on a like first beer on a really really hot day. Sitting there on a hot day at like eleven o'clock, first beer of the day. This would be a good one. Um, well, what can I say? I'm really impressed with this beer. It is, it's different, it's fantastic, it's unique. Um, it's a beer to try before you die. You've got to put this on your list. It is, it's bonkers crazy, this beer. The thought of it is bonkers crazy. The, the, the test sensation, the aromas, it really gets your brain going. Um, I'm a happy chap with this. This is great. This is this is this is a this is a great beer. I'm glad I, I got a bottle of it. I'm glad I reviewed it. So look, go and get yourself a bottle. Try it. See what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer. But I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.